Hello everyone, my name is Saurabh Verma. I'm a lead cloud architect at Red River and I focus on cloud infrastructure and platform services. In this video series, we'll be taking a closer look at the well-architected framework recommended by AWS and how Red River is applying them for our cloud assessment services. This session is specifically geared towards how Red River focuses on the sustainability aspects of the assessment. Over here, we evaluate the workload's choice of cloud services with a viewpoint of minimizing the long-term environmental and economic impacts. And to that effect, efficiency and energy consumption are the prime focus areas. The assessment analyzes the unused and underutilized workload components against potentials for refactoring, retiring, or even consolidating with other resources to improve utilization efficiency. For data services, the assessment reviews data classification policies that help clearly identify different types of data and utilize lifecycle policies to either archive that into an energy efficient storage or decommission it altogether. Provisioning of block storage is reviewed for elastic volumes that can grow with demand. This minimizes a need for large initial provisioning or tasks associated with resizing an attached volume. Deduplication of file and block level data promotes efficiency and for this the assessment reviews the backup storage technologies in use. Similarly, instead of using a blanket rate configuration across all storage, it is efficient to limit the rate usage to only scenarios where an SLA is required to be met. Additionally, adoption of shared storage services avoids data duplications and reduces the workload's total storage requirements. The choice of instances is also assessed. For example, we check to see if the architecture could scale out horizontally to increase or decrease the number of instances based on changing load requirements. And along the same line, we review if the workload supports a stateless and fault-tolerant architecture. Because with that, the workload could utilize spot instances and spot fleets for addressing just-in-time compute demands while reducing the sustainability impact. Well, this is a short summary of how Red River's public cloud assessment evaluates the sustainability aspects. To learn about other pillars of our cloud assessment, please check out other sessions in the series. Thank you and have a great day.